Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today's going to be a very, very fast video. Um, you know how Mark got his new job and he is able to actually go ahead and have the Hot Logic warm up his meals for him. Well, this weekend we're going to work on a whole bunch of them. However, you know, he still has to eat lunch for Friday. So what you're going to see is we're going to, this is not normally how we would make it, but the beans has like the liquid on the top and I didn't want to have it just not be right. So I'm going to show you down here. Mark's behind me. He didn't want to make the video for himself. Can you believe that? So he's just going to have beans and weenies because he's not had that in a while. That's not my favorite meal, but he really loves hot dogs and I don't really care for them. So this makes it really nice for the hot logic, by the way. So anybody who is looking to uh, meal prep and to use the hot logics, by the way, there's going to be some contests coming up for the hot logic. So look for that to be coming out too. But um, all he does is he puts the meals actually in here and he warms it up in the hot logic, which is over there. Mark can hand it to me again, those who have not been paying attention. But um, there's the hot logic. Uh, it runs by electricity back here. And you just open it up and it's kind of like a crock pot. You just put that glass container in there. You can put plastic if that's your gig. We don't like to warm up in plastic, so we don't. So I'm going to bring it down here, uh, show you what we're going to do. So I'm just going to be using a half a pack of the beef hot dogs that we have. And honey, I think I'm going to need a spoon too if you can. I forgot to grab that out. It's anything that's stirred it up with. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these four hot dogs here. And... And go ahead and throw those in this bowl. Oops. And hot dogs everywhere. Um, because we do not eat pork, we use the vegetarian Bush's baked beans. Um, I've yet to make any on my own that I absolutely, totally love. I keep trying, but it's never been a total success story on this. Now, you don't, you don't put any spices in this, do you? Okay, I wasn't for sure, but you'll see Mark because he's going to pour some in his little container here. And then what's going to happen is um, we've been mixing some of this up and he'll make one meal for the dinner and then we put the other one actually in the freezer. So, you know, that's quite a bit of meal. So that's easily going to be enough for the two meals. And Mark's going to go ahead and pour in whatever he wants into each container. I'll show you um, what I do with, is that enough for each? Yep. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and he's going to put the lid on this um, for tomorrow's lunch. And I'm going to show you what I do with the um, food saver to actually put this part in the freezer without getting uh, freezer burnt. All right, so what I do is I have my food saver out here, and I just use my quart size food saver bags, and I go ahead and put this in here, and I push this to the very end, pop this open, I just put this in here. Now, I do not let this go vacuum seal all the way because this is plastic, and these containers will break. I know this because I've done this. Go ahead and lock this down. Once it starts getting low enough here like so then I just go ahead and shut that off and get out my marker and then what I usually just do is um put the date oops all right and then so what's going to happen now is this is nice and vacuum sealed and we don't have to worry about this. If we he doesn't want to eat this for a couple weeks or even a month or whatever, this is not going to get freezer burnt in the freezer. So um, this is a great way if you do meal prep. Um, I do not do the same meal prep things like everybody else does. Hopefully this weekend is something you're going to see the whole entire counter lined up with different meals. Um, I'll be doing a whole bunch of different things. And... What we'll be doing is vacuum sealing each one of these 
So when he is ready for it, so he's not having to eat the same meal every single day. And we store them in the plastic, even though I don't like plastic, um, because it just, it takes up less room than put them with the lids. And I don't have that many glass containers to do all that with. So, I mean, this makes it really nice. And, you know, this stays in the freezer for quite a while. And uh, then he can just go ahead and use that whenever he wants to. And it works out just perfectly fine. Like I said, look for the, um, there's going to be a giveaway. I had contacted um, Hot Logic and I asked them, you know, if they would be willing to give me one to uh, give away. And she says, yeah, I'll be sending five of them. <laughs> so it's going to be really nice to be able to have some sort of drawing. I don't know for sure what we're going to have yet, but look for that. Um, hopefully there'll be instructions when I get the package and I don't even know what colors or anything that they're going to be, but you know, hopefully everything is all good and, um, five people are going to end up with a new hot logic mini. So, um, definitely look into that if you've not done this and if you have a hot logic and you have done this, what other meals do you actually make? In yours so let me know in the comments down below and thank you very much for stopping by you have a very blessed and wonderful day